so as you guys can tell by my background I am back in the States and today I wanted to do a video on my first impression review on the new Nivea lip butters and I actually got two of them at my local CVS on our way home <laughs> so from the airport so I got this one in vanilla and macadamia kiss and I got this one in raspberry rose kiss looks like that and these are actually the last two kind of flavors or scents or whatever in at my CVS so I got them and I did not open this one but I did open this one I don't know why I chose this one I should open the other one but anyways so I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of I don't know like product information so it comes in a little like tin like this and it is 16.7 grams which is equivalent to 0 0.59 ounces I'm gonna leave it like this so you guys look at like focus but those are the ingredients that it has and that's just kind of like the back so I hope you guys can see them got these because while I was overseas I've obviously been keeping in touch on YouTube and stuff but I've heard really, really good things about this, these new Nivea products, like, oh my gosh, they're awesome, they're really great, and it's really, really cold right now. Not so much like it is in Asia, like in Korea, it is, like, we came over and it was, it started to snow, but, so not that cold, but it is really, really cold, it's ridiculously cold. But anyways, so I really, really wanted to try these out. So when we were coming back from the airport, I don't know why we stopped by CVS, but we did. And I got, I found them after searching for a while. I found these two. And they were like three dollars and some, three or four dollars, something like that, each. But I had heard the week before, like a week ago or two weeks ago, they were like buy, get two for five, something like that. But anyways... I really really wanted these so I definitely wanted I definitely was gonna splurge on them so anyways this one looks like comes in a little tin that's what it looks like and it has a of course you can smell the vanilla and you can smell the macadamia too it doesn't have a really like super strong kind of gross vanilla smell if you guys aren't a fan of vanilla set I don't know it's not that strong but you can definitely smell it but it's not as strong as let's say a vanilla candle because you can smell the macadamia in there first time I got it we were driving back we were driving to our house and I was just so excited by it that I tore it open and I put it on my lips and I thought it was the best thing ever but <laughs> then I realized that it was just the how do you how do you say that I can't say that first ingredient petrolatum how do you say that but that's what's that's what you know the the jelly whatever that thing is called do you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> so anyways basically i realized that it was just like something on my lips it wasn't moisturizing it wasn't healing like my carmex it was just there it was just on my lips it just stayed on my lips and I ate like a pear or a fruit yeah it was a pear and I remember thinking like oh my gosh this thing is really awesome because it's still on my lips but then I realized that it was doing nothing for my lips it was just seriously it was just like there it was just like oil like you couldn't get it off it was inclusively it has oil on here but seriously it just I just felt like it was on my lips it was just there like I said we had come back from Asia and it's really really cold over there it's snowing over there so it's super super cold over there and my my mom's lips are like super super chapped and she said they're to the point where they hurt because they're so I don't know they're really really chapped so I'm like oh you should try this and so she tried some of it and she's just like this feels like like jelly why don't I just put jelly on my lips you know what I'm talking about that jelly petroleum patrolly whatever that jelly thing I don't know what it's called my mom has like a bunch of it in her room but she's just really disappointed she's like it does nothing and within like 10 minutes of her using it it was like gone and wow so 
I am a I am a bit bummed as I continued to use it I just realized that it was just there like it did nothing it did not moisturize my lips my lips still feel chapped uh, they never claim to heal anything they just claim to make what does it say what is their slogan thing it says apply to lips to make kisses better I, I guess that's what they were going for but honestly if I were to kiss someone, they would probably just be happy because they would get to taste the vanilla and macadamia kiss. But honestly, this does nothing for your lips. So if you're looking for a kind of Carmex alternative to moisturize and, you know, if your lips are really chapped, no matter how much you would want to go for this, because it does smell nice and it's kind of cute looking, I do not recommend this. Do not recommend this. I know that Carmex has a bad rep because it smells horrible and sometimes it's a little inconvenient like it's such a drag to like push it out you know what i mean but i definitely recommend this i definitely recommend carmex especially right now please protect your lips it doesn't matter that just like your face you put on sunscreen you have to protect your lips as well because they're really important your lips do change color if your body is not hydrated seriously guys as i was saying if you want a lip butter i guess just to have a lip butter just to have something on your lips then definitely go for this but i don't know i'm i'm just really disappointed i felt like it would do more moisturizing especially now that it's cold and everywhere here i mean unless you live on like in australia right now in hawaii but it's really cold <laughs> so that's my first impression slash kind of review on the nivea lip butters unfortunately i did not get to open this one just because sadly i'm pretty sure i'm gonna return this so that sucks but honestly it did not work for me i keep trying it and i just i don't even taste it like i don't accidentally lick my lips or anything but honestly i still feel the dead skin cells which is gross i know but not moisturizing at all so anyways i hope you guys found this a little bit informative and helpful again it depends for what you need it for if you really just do need it for lip butter and just to like i don't know for your lips to taste good so when you kiss your significant other or something definitely go for this definitely like recommend it but if you're just looking for a lip kind of balm kind of thing because i know the rev on lip butters they're they give color and for me, they did moisturize my lips, but that might not be for everyone. But this definitely, I still feel my lips really chapped and gross. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or if you guys liked it and disagree and etc., just let me know. And that's cool, I guess. I'm glad it worked for you. <laughs> what else? I am, so like I said, I'm back and I'm... I'm still continuing to do my videos every other day. Aren't you proud of me? Because I'm proud of myself. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going back to school. I enrolled in a nearby college just to keep my brain kind of going. I don't want to just, you know, stop doing school forever. So I'm doing a little bit of school and I'm trying to look for a job, hopefully, while that all goes down. One of my subbies actually asked me to do like, um, back to school kind of thing organization which I will be doing because I am starting to like print out syllabuses and I'm gonna get my um, tote bag together and just ready for the school um, just ready for the first day of school so I'm really happy about that and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I will see you guys in two days